welcome back to another Saving Your Math Grade 1 Skill at a Time video. So today we're going to be talking about intersecting lines, what they are and how to find them. So I'd first like to start by defining what exactly intersecting lines are. So intersecting lines are two lines that intersect or cross paths at a certain place on a graph. So just do a quick example to show you. So this is our graph and say it wants us to find the intersection point of the line y equals negative 2x plus 6 and y equals 1x. Okay, so these are already in proper formation, so they're y equals mx plus b. So now let's graph them. So for the first one, we're going to go up to 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, just got lucky there. 6. And then we're going to go down to 1, 2 over 1. Down two over one, down two over one. Okay, for our next one, it's y equals one x. So we're gonna go to zero, zero, and go up one, over one, up one, over one. Okay, and then if we then graph those lines, we should get something like this. So as you can see, they intersect at two comma two. So that one wasn't so bad. So you can always use the, the method of graphing to find the point of intersection, although this might not always work if you're dealing with really, really big numbers or if you know that they're not gonna intersect at a perfect um, whole number and you get really hard to find them that way. So using the other method where you can set the equations equal to each other might be a little easier and less tricky to find. So say we're given the equations x plus y equals 3 and negative 2x plus 2y equals 4. So we're going to start by getting the equations in y equals mx plus b form. So for this one, we're just going to, well, we're going to subtract x from both sides. So we're going to get y equals negative x plus 3. And for the other one, it's a little more tricky. So we're going to add 2x to this side, add 2x to this side, switch you to one side, you have to the other. We get 2y equals 2x plus 4. We're then going to divide by 2, divide by 2, and divide by 2. And then we're going to get y equals x plus 2. So if we graph these lines, might not intersect out of whole number. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set them equal to each other. So we're gonna do this by, we have them in the value of y. So it's gonna be negative x plus three equals x plus two. So then we're gonna subtract three from this side, subtract three from this side, negative one x equals negative x. Oh, subtract x, subtract x. Negative two x equals negative one divide by negative two, divide by negative two, a negative divided by a negative is a positive, so x equals one half, okay? So now that we have what x is, we could then substitute it back into the equation. So we have one half plus y equals three. So we're gonna subtract one half, subtract one half, and we're gonna get y equals two and a half. So we then have our y value and our x value, and these coordinates, one half comma two and one half, are going to be equal to our point of intersection. So there are a few cases, however, where these lines aren't gonna have one direct point of intersection, either parallel, meaning they have the same slope, the lines are never gonna intersect. So it looks something like this. It's like that and like that. These two lines are never gonna intersect. But if the equations have the same exact line, then they're gonna intersect every point of the way because they're gonna be on top of each other. Oh, sorry, on top of each other. So yeah, I hope you learned something. Stay tuned for the next video.